Hello and welcome to the series of video lectures on the subject Java programming for third year IT students. I am Dr. Srichal Gajbar and in this video lecture we are going to understand the swing basics. At the end of this session you will be able to create a simple graphical user interface frame with different swing components or controls. So most of the swing components are based on the modernized version of the MVC architecture. Now the MVC architecture in this case stands for model view controller architecture. Now MVC is a very popular object oriented programming user interface decomposition that dates back to 1970s and uh, as I mentioned earlier most of the swing components are based on this MVC architecture. Now let us see how they interact in this case. So the first component is a model. Now what is the model? The model is responsible for maintaining all aspects of the component state. Now in this case you can see the model here. For example, the button pressed or not etc. So all this information will be stored inside a model. And the model here does not know its view and controller. However, it does communicate indirectly to view and controller as the event notification. So that is why here you can see the dotted lines. This dotted line indicate that model communicates with view and controller indirectly okay, through event notifications. The next component is view. What is view? The view determines the visual representation of the components model. This is a components look. For example, the view displays the correct color of the component whether the component appears raised or lowered in case of a button etc. The view is responsible for keeping its on-screen representation updated. The output of the view is displayed on a computer monitor. Whereas you, you can see here the controller is connected to a mouse and keyboard. The controller is responsible for determining whether the component should react to any input events from input devices such as keyboard or mouse. It determines what actions are performed when the component is used. The controller can receive messages from the view and indirect message from the model. Now what are the different advantages that are there because of the MVC architecture? The first advantage of MVC is multiple views using the same model. For example, let's say you are displaying some employee data. So if there is a MVC, then the same employee data can be represented using table or histogram. Right? So basically, the model will be the same, but there will be different views. Then the MVC also provides the efficient modularity. The meaning is that it is possible to develop view and model in different environments such as developing push button in Java and the model data stored in Visual Basic. Then MVC also provides easier support for new types of clients. The meaning here is that to support new type of client we can simply write a view and controller for it and we can basically wire them to the existing model. So basically the model will be same we can write a new view and controller for that particular client. So in the last video, we have understood how to create a frame window. Window pane is nothing but a free area of a window where some text or components can be displayed. Now there are four types of window panes. The first is content pane, uh, where we usually add our components. Then there is a layered pane, where we will add the component groups. Then there is a root pane where we are going to add the background components and there is a glass pane okay, where we usually add the foreground components. So basically a frame window will have four types of panes, content pane, layered pane, root pane and glass pane. So pause the video for two minutes and write down the answer of the given question. I hope you have written the answer. The correct answer is swing components are based on 
model view controller that is MVC architecture. Now let us create a Java graphical user interface application. Now in this application we are going to basically create a frame by using the JFrame class. Then to this JFrame class we are going to add a panel using the JPanel class and to this panel we are going to add uh, this JText field where you can uh, basically type a text and we are going to add one J button also. Okay. So basically let us see how we can create them. Now as and when our application gets complex we are going to make use of uh, classes which are available in Swing as well as in the AWT package. So it is better idea to import all the classes of this Swing as well as AWT packages. So that is why we will write import Java X dot swing dot star. So dot star will basically import all the classes interfaces which are available in the Java X dot swing package. Then we are going to write import Java dot AWT dot star. Okay. So basically we are also importing all the classes which are available in the Java dot AWT package. Then we are going to write the class name. Okay. So class is so we are going to name it as demo app so let us let me save this and i will save this using the same name demo app dot java now in this case let us write our public static void main method uh, we are go first going to create a frame so that is why we are going to write and then uh, what we are going to do let us run this to check whether everything is proper so java c demo amp dot java so no problem so java okay so this is the first GUI application so this our frame is ready and if we close it it closes properly now the next job is to add the panel to it right now you can create a panel by using the jpanel class which is available in the java x dot swing package so here let us create object of the jpanel class so jpanel panel panel is the name of the object that i am giving new jpanel okay and i will put everything as a default so here we have created object of the panel class. Now we want to add this panel to our frame. We, we need to access the content pane of our frame. Okay, So for that purpose I am going to write container. So I, I need to create a reference of the container class. So container p is equals to and I need to call a method. So frame dot and the method is get content pane okay. so this method frame dot get content pane will access the content pane of this frame object and the type of that is nothing but a container so for that we are going to create a reference of the container class so container p is equal to frame dot get content pane now once we have accessed the content pane object of a frame, we are going to add the created panel to this content pane. So for that purpose, we are going to write p.add panel. Now let us run this. Now here the panel is added. Now you are not able to see it uh, differentiate whether the panel is added or not so in order to show the difference that we have actually added a panel let us change the background color of the panel to the green one okay so so what we will do here we'll change the property of a panel so we are going to do panel dot set background and in this case we are going to pass a constant of the color class so color dot green and now 
now let us run it again so the application is still running so let us close it let me just clear the screen and let us compile it again now in this case you can see the background of the panel is now green right now in this case we are going to add two component the text field and below that we are going to add a button right so let us do that so in order to create a button we are going to create the object of the j button class so j button btn is equals to new j button and here i will provide he the button as a name as click me next we are going to add the object of the j text field class so and here i pass the number of columns as 30 So once we have created these components, J button and J text field, we are going to add them to the panel. Okay, so we are going to write panel dot add, and we are going to add the J text field first. So tf object of the J text field class, and then we are going to add panel dot add. we are going to add the button right so now let us compile and run this program so now here you can see our application as desired so this is the button with the name as click me nothing will happen because we have not added any event in this case and here you can see the uh, text field where you can basically type the content so this is our application which we desired this is the reference thank you very much